Today, new evacuation warnings added in Alpine County in the same area where the Tamarack fire burned earlier this summer. As we mentioned earlier, evacuation orders downgraded to warnings on the western edge of the fire in parts of Pollock Pines and Camino. And tonight, people living in that area started returning home, allowed back in their neighborhoods for the first time in two weeks. Cause for celebration tonight, CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in Pollock Pines with those feeling oh so grateful to be back home, Laura. That's right, though, the south side of 50 is still blocked off by the California National Guard. The north side in the Pollock Pines area is starting to open up. Evacuees are making their way off this exit ramp and into their neighborhoods that they left behind two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, the Caldor fire charged towards Pollock Pines, forcing neighbors to evacuate. Are you just now getting home? Yeah. yeah. Jason Souza left, unsure if his home would be standing when he returned. Where were you in terms of thinking you'd have a home to come back to? Were you confident you would? Were you not sure? Nah, I thought it was getting close. So I probably thought about a 75% chance the way fires have been going in California for the past 70, 10 years. 75% that it was going to be gone? I was kind of, yeah. yeah. I, I Fearful was, of losing gone. his most valuable yeah. possessions. Stuff that you've had for years. He's feeling lucky to be back. Um, I'm very blessed to still have my home. Very happy to be back. Jason Souza is not the only one. Officials on Wednesday lifting evacuation orders for parts of Pollock Pines north of Highway 50. Residents allowed in celebrating the fresh air while the California National Guard blocks 50 to the south. Try to do everything we can so when people return, they have a peaceful return to, the, to their house. Sergeant Eric Palmberg with El Dorado County Sheriff's Office says repopulating all evacuated areas will take time. A lot of it's just proximity to the fire. You know, um, upcoming weather weather trends. The fire is further from the area that was repopulated today. Officials also keep an eye on infrastructure. If power lines and water hasn't been affected, neighbors will get home sooner. It's it's at a point now where it's safe enough we can get pet people into this this area. Now, something to keep in mind as you're returning home, officials tell us you're going to want to run your water, your sink water, for a few minutes before you use it to make sure that it's cleared up. It's been sitting in those pipes for a couple weeks, and obviously it's just to make sure it's safe. Uh, keep that water running for a little bit before you use it. And I just want to say we've been standing at this exit ramp for a little bit, and though cars aren't coming down right now, there's been a steady, actually there is, there's been a steady stream of cars coming down this exit ramp, and everyone's kind of shouting out their windows, just really excited uh, to be heading back home and of course slowly but surely everyone will be able to return home soon there is no place like home all right thanks laura